And we're back again with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta episode, or season six, episode eight, In Due Time. This episode wasn't really that good, to be honest. Not a lot happened, so this review probably gonna be probably one of the shorter ones I ever did for this, this series. But we start off where we left off last week with Tommy's wine tasting, which I don't know why they, like I said last week, I don't know why they let that be the cliffhanger because who really care about Tommy's mom coming to the wine tasting? Like, yeah, they got into it in a couple episodes ago, but re really, who cared? Because, to be honest, when they showed the previews for this episode and she walked in, I didn't even recognize who that was. I didn't even know who that was, so I thought anybody really cared. And a lot of the girls there didn't even know her. She had to introduce herself for her. Tommy introduced her to all the other people that was there, like Scrappy, Jock. I think Jock. I don't know if he was there, but she had to introduce her mom to everybody because they don't know her. But anyway, um, they apologize. They make up. Tam Tommy started crying. Tammy says she's happy that the mom came, this, that, and the other. Um, uh, KK was the one that invited the mom. The mom said that she moved. Um, she moved somewhere else, and they haven't seen each other, but of course she will come to support Tommy. So, whatever with that. Then we go to a Jocelyn scene where she's trying to build something in her house. Um, she, I forget what it was she was trying to put together. Probably a crib or something like that, baby-related. And basically, um, Melissa walks in. She's like, oh, hi, Melissa. And I'm like, why are you saying it like that? Like, scripted scene number one. How you don't know Melissa walking around your house? Then Don walk in. She's like, hey, Don. I'm like, so you don't know? And they got food and drinks and stuff. Like, <clears throat> how could you not know that? One thing about Dawn that I always thought ever since she came on the scene in this whole franchise, Love and Hip Hop, she always looked like a grandma to me. She always looked, I mean, and not necessarily like an old grandma, like that's a bad thing, because there's some good looking grandmas, but she looked like she the oldest person on this whole show. She, to me, she looked older than um, Mama D. Like, Dawn really looked like she about 50, at least 50, inside going on 60 to me. Another person that look old to me, though, is Mimi. Mimi look real old to me. I know people say Carly is old, but Mimi look old to me. But Dawn look like she's the oldest person on this whole cast, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, yeah, Dawn, uh, uh, Jocelyn says, I found out who my baby daddy is. It's, J it's Stevie. And I'm like, Jocelyn, you've been saying it was Stevie. You, uh, maybe she was being sarcastic. I don't know. But um, she says that she doesn't want Stevie to be around the baby. And she says she regrets telling him that that was his kid. Melissa's saying this don't make sense. And um, Jocelyn says, now I want to get full custody of my baby. And I don't, and I want to put him on child support, unlike uh, Molly the May, aka Melissa's girl, or Melissa's bitch, as she called her. And um, Dawn said, I think, oh, Jocelyn said, I'm going to move to Miami. It's better for me to music. Got cousins and all that. And uh, Dawn says she thinks that's a good idea. Melissa is like, no, you know that man's going to want to see his child. Um, Jocelyn says that Stevie wants full custody. And, and Melissa's, um, confessional she said stevie know darn well he don't want full custody of that baby i'm like yeah that's true stevie if he got full custody he wouldn't know what to do no offense that sound bad but if he got full custody i don't think he'll be wanting to be bothered that much like he'll it'll be with a nanny majority of the time <clears throat> but then again he do got older kids and they living with him so all right but anyway um, then we go to a sh Scrappy scene. Scrappy meet up with Rashida, and they talk about everything that happened, because he's friends with Rashida. I found it funny that, well, not funny, but interesting that everybody is friends with Rashida. Like, she the coolest one, because Jock, like, she's friends with some of the men, and she's friends with all the women on the show, except Jocelyn. She the only one she never got. But Jocelyn and Rashida never really had it. The only person that Rashida don't get along with is K. Michelle, if, if I'm thinking right but anyway um Rashida asked Scrappy about the wedding you know she, she didn't want to go straight into her situation so she asked about the wedding Scrappy said that's not happening Rashida said um what you do because I know it's you you know you always do something talking about with Shay and with Erica Dixon you know and Scrappy said Scrappy told about that situation and then he talked about the poker game and what happened Rashida listening and uh she said she's asking about Kirk pretty much and Scrappy says, uh, 
I thought y'all were Jay. Oh no, he said that later on. But basically, he was trying to, you know, see what was going on with Rashida and Kirk, and he went to Rashida first. And um, she said, or who was it? Oh, Scrappy told Rashida that Jock smashed a girl too. And um, so basically, Scrappy was talking about other people during the poker game, and Rashida's like, "Now, what was Kirk saying all this time?" She just wanted to know what was Kirk saying, what was going through her husband's mind. Then. Oh, well, that ended. And then we see Carly and Cena meet up. Um, Cena is Jock's baby mama to the twins. Um, Carly talk about the other couple, Sam. Um, basically, um, what's her name? She wasn't in this episode. The girl with the salon or the beauty shop, glam shop. Um, Sierra? Sierra? I think it's Sierra. Sierra and her husband are going at it, thinking about divorce. Rashida and Kirk thinking about divorce. But me and Jock are in a good place. And I'm like, huh? Is she stupid or is she delusional? Because no, y'all not. But basically, Cena, um, she judging Carly judging everybody else, but her relationship ain't good either. Jock don't even think y'all in a relationship, so I don't know what's going on. Um, Cena says she, Cena says she lied about the whole um, her dating um, Rod situation, and Carly made a good point. If you're not with Jock, and that's just your baby daddy, why do you care? Why is you lying to make him jealous? Because Carly said you did that to make him jealous, and Cena said, yeah. So I'm like, huh? That don't make sense. Because Carly trying to date Jock, but Cena is a baby mama, and they getting along. It's all stupid and weird, to be honest. <clears throat> Cena tells about how Treasure's her friend, you know, and Treasure told her about the Tommy situation, and now Cena's telling Carly. Carly's like... Shaking her head. And then she goes against everything that she basically said about her and Jock being in a good place. And then she says, oh, no, we're not. I don't understand why he does this. He got bad and bougie, but now he want to do. Oh, shoot, my camera's about to die. Hopefully I can finish this. You have bad and bougie, and now you want ass and dookie or something like that. Mimi goes to Melissa's house. And I found it. Like, Melissa's house actually looked pretty nice. And I don't really understand, like. Isn't Melissa like, like I don't understand how some of these people got nice houses on this show because we we've been during this episode We went through a lot of people's houses. We went to I think Mimi's house Stevie's house Melissa's house Arian's house and Somebody else's house we went to But like all these people got nice houses and I'm just wondering How because some of these people don't do nothing especially Arian the heck cause her house look nice Anyway, she's telling <clears throat> Mimi says she has a problem with Melissa because she's friends with Jocelyn. And during the first episode, Melissa or Mimi said, Melissa can be friends with whoever she wants as long as she keeps my name out of their mouths when they're together. So M Mimi is contradicting herself in this situation. I don't like it. Um, then we go, <clears throat> oh no. Um, sh Mimi goes off on Melissa. Like, I don't want you. Why are you calling Jocelyn a friend? This, that, and the other. And Melissa's real calm. Like, just because she hurt you does not mean she's going to hurt me. I've been friends with Jocelyn for five years. Melissa, Mimi's like, don't call her your friend. Um, uh, Melissa says, or no. Um, Melissa says, uh, I'm your friend. Don't worry about anybody. Don't worry about me being friends with Jocelyn. Just be friends with me. Um, I'm not going to screw you over like I'm not Steven Jordan, which is what <laughs> Mimi calls Stevie. I'm not Steven Jordan. I'm not Nico. I'm not Chris. I'm not Arian. And then Mimi's like, speaking of Arian, Arian warned me about you. Blah, blah, blah. This, that, another. And um, Melissa's like, um, Arian's just mad because we're not smashing no more. And I'm like, oh. So they used to date or smash. Um. Basically, Mimi didn't know that. She gets mad, but this is where Melissa messed up. She said, you lucked up and met me. That made Mimi mad. And I think a lot of people was kind of like, what is she talking about, lucked up? And, you know, Mimi says she's getting out of her house. So, Mimi left. Jessica Dime goes to Carly's house. Again, Carly got a nice big house. How? What do Carly do? I'm confused. I know they're getting paid good from doing this show, but dang. I don't know. Um, basically, Jessica Dime tells Carly that she... Jessica Dime and Carly are good friends, and I like this. But she tells Carly about how she's friends with Jocelyn now. Carly's not... doesn't really like that. And she tells, um, Carly how she tried to be friends with Tommy. Carly doesn't like that. 
Jessica says that um, she went to a wine tasting event, but it tastes like piss. So it was more like a piss tasting event. And uh, she got into it with everybody, including Tammy. And Carly's taking all that in. Then she told her about Jock and Tommy. And Carly's like, I already know Cena told me. Jessica's like, you cool with her? Carly's like, yeah. And then Carly's like, why didn't you tell me? We supposed to be friends and stuff. I hope this don't die while I'm filming this. Um, till Jock, they smash him. Carly get mad. Jessica Dom says that she defended herself by saying, I told Jock to tell you. I didn't want to tell you. But then she says, my name is Revenge. I'm getting revenge. Mimi meets up with Arian at her house. Arian's house is not really that nice, but still, how does she... What money does... What does Arian do? She must have a real 9 to 5 job. Nothing wrong with that, but... Because I don't understand... Well, because she's not even a main cast. I don't know. I don't, don't get me. Arian is playing on her phone. Uh, Mimi says, put that down. We got some business to take care of. She talked about Melissa. Arian says... Um, she can talk about... Because Mimi told her, like, you smashed Melissa. Arian says... Um, I could talk about a lot of people that I smashed. So I'm thinking, hmm, on this show, I would think she probably smashed Mimi, Melissa, and I would say K. Michelle. That's that's my thoughts of who I'm thinking. But Melissa, Arian says she can do that, but who cares? She says that was 20 years ago. And I'm thinking, 20 years? Because they kept saying 20 years. I'm like, how old are them? The oldest I could think is... Because Melissa don't look old at all. And Arian don't look old at all. So I would say the oldest they could be is 35. So I would say maybe they smashed when they were 15. That's what I would think. Because they don't even look. Maybe 36. Maybe they both 36. I don't know. But I, I really would like to know if 20 years is the actual number. And how old they are. Um, Mimi is mad at Arian. Because she didn't tell her that they smashed. Basically. Who cares about that? Um, Scrappy and Kirk meet up. Um, Scrappy compares them to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Says, I didn't think you and Rashida would have problems. Are you stupid, Scrappy? But that wasn't the dumbest comparison. Because later on, Kirk compares his situation to Jesus. What? Jesus. What? That was stupid. Um, Scrappy's trying to give advice to Kirk. Saying, you need to be Rashida. I'm, starting, I'm trying to speed through this so my camera don't die. But anyway. Um, Scrappy says, you need to work things out. Take the test. Uh, Kirk said he's not taking the test because he sure is not his baby. He's not ready for the test. I'm like, what? You sound stupid as ever. He said, I love Rashida, but... And then Scrappy's like, there's a but. Kirk's like, you can't do this. Uh, we was having problems way before this. It wasn't just out the blue. I decided to, you know, cheat. So that happened. Uh, then we go to Arian and Melissa who meet up. Um, don't really care about this. Arian says, you shouldn't have told... Um, Aaron says the news. Oh, Aaron said the news is all about me and Melissa using the smash. But who really? Why do y'all care? Only person that knew is Mo, is Mimi. What are you talking about, Aaron? Don't. I'm sure a lot of fans do not care about you, Aaron, being on this show at all. Uh, they said 20 years ago again. They go at it. Um, basically, me Melissa said, I just want to know. Do you do you fuck with me? And that was the question. And Aaron says it's not a yes or no. And then Aaron gets up to leave. And Melissa's like, okay, you don't. All right. Uh, Mimi meets up with Stevie. She, uh, Stevie tells that he got a new house because of the, he want all his baby, all his girls to be there. He says specifically his girls. And he reveals that Bonnie is his daughter. Mimi gets all upset and mad. She goes off. She did not want Jocelyn near her baby. She didn't say she didn't want Bonnie near her baby though. I don't think. Jock is at a comedy show. Jock is actually pretty funny, so I can see this working out for him. Um, Scrappy, Lovely, Mimi, and Tommy are there. And then we see Carly Red arrive with Melissa and Cena. I would have rather have been Carly, Cena, and Dime, but it was M Melissa. They standing there. Melissa looking like she a bodyguard, a skinny bodyguard. And they basically about to go at it. Um, they confront them. It was a whole fight. Carly throws money. Tommy's like, you couldn't even throw hundreds. Why would she throw hundreds? That's stupid. I don't even know why she threw money at all. That was stupid. Um, lovely Mimi going at it. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. That was stupid. It made me kind of dislike Lovely Mimi a little bit. Um, Carly says that Tommy is the most valuable hoe. Uh, and that was the episode. I'm sorry I had to speed through the ending because my camera about to die. And thank God I finished before it did die.